Welcome to our introductory video on VirtualM. In this video, we'll go over how to set up the technology, explain the game's recognized gestures, navigate the digital environment, and demonstrate our games. Let's get started. First, there are two ways to play VirtualM, on a PC or an augmented reality using an Android device and compatible AR headset. Once those are ready, download and install the VirtualM application and then launch the app. Our game uses a Mayo Gesture armband to track your arm's movements and muscular signals. You'll want to make sure the Mayo is charged and powered on. Once our app launches, it'll look to pair with the Mayo. If you're going mobile, simply place the Mayo against your phone to pair. If you're on PC, make sure that the Bluetooth USB dongle is plugged in. For mobile, our app also uses a technology called Fuforia, which determines where the game space is projected. Simply place the virtual imprint out on a nearby surface and everything in the game will now be projected on top of that sheet of paper. Once everything has been paired and set up successfully, you'll see the app's digital arm begin to mimic your movement. Our app uses three gestures. The grip gesture gives you the ability to pick items up and move them around in digital space. The release gesture then lets you drop those items. The calibrate gesture should always be the first thing you do after reaching the main menu so that the app can better recognize the orientation of your arm. The main menu gives you a couple options. The tutorial is a quick guide on how to take the box and block test and gives you a space to hone your gesture skills. The extras menu lets you switch between different arms as well as other game elements. The exit button terminates the application and play takes you to our games and tests. Let's jump right into playing. In order to press buttons, simply grip down on the button and press. You should hear a click. From the play menu, you can select our app's experiences. In this version, we have the box and block test and a mini game called Cargo Loader. Let's start by taking the box and block test. We've also given you the ability to customize the tests by adding or subtracting the amount of blocks as well as the time limit. For now, we'll stick to taking the standardized box and block test. Once the test is loaded, you'll notice a few things. A box, some blocks, and a scoreboard. The goal of the box and block test is to move as many blocks as you can from one side of the box to the other. In this case, moving from right to left. In order to score points, you have to move a block across the top of the box's partition and then release. You cannot toss or throw blocks. The test will begin as soon as you grab your first block, and will continue until time runs out or you have moved every block across to the left side of the box. Your current score and remaining time can be seen on the scoreboard, and at the end of the test you can compare your stats against your recorded best. From here, you can take the test again and try to improve your score, or you can head back out to the main menu. From the play menu, let's try out the cargo loader game. The goal of this game is to load cargo onto the ship's designated loading area in such a way that it fits through the holes of the oncoming crane loader. Similar to the box and block test, the game starts when you grab your first cargo box. If the cargo fits through the hole without being pushed out of the loading zone, then you've been successful and can move on to the next round. However, if the cargo is pushed out of the loading zone, or you haven't stacked all of your cargo on the ship, you'll have to restart. Try to last as many rounds as possible. Once you're done, feel free to head back to the main menu. We're still in development, so check back in the future to see what progress we've made. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.